Hey guys, so this month officially kicked off my first monthly game jam. For January, we did third person shooter. I just wanted to go over a little bit of the progress, how it went, and what happened in the end to kind of hinder my ability to finish it. On January 1st, at first things were going pretty smooth. I decided to start planning my game. I came up with the idea that you would have a classic third person shooter, but the twist on it would be that you have this bubble where you can't take damage or deal damage to other characters. The game seemed like it was going to be pretty simple. I was just going to implement maybe a team deathmatch mode, a kill confirmed, or a domination, and you just have these teams and the bubbles help you fly, reach different areas, they help you protect you from damage, and basically just a war zone kind of thing where you're versus each other, making some damage. So with that, I went to Blender and I started designing some characters. I came up with this crazy blob band. Looks good to me. Then I started making some assets, so I animated the blob man. Then I added a gun, because of course we need guns. I settled on the fact that maybe you'd start out with some pistols and then pick up guns or buy guns later. I hadn't quite decided yet. So then I just started implementing the mechanics. It seemed pretty straightforward. I added the animations into Unity. The bubble worked, it started floating, didn't take damage, couldn't take damage, and couldn't deal damage. Exactly what I planned. And then it was time to get the map going. So I went to the terrain, made a map, made an awesome grass toon shader kind of fit with the vibe of the game. And then I realized, to have a team deathmatch, you need to be multiplayer. So after about a week of working on this game, where I feel like I got pretty close to having what I wanted, I was missing the most important element, multiplayer. So in my wisdom, I went to Google and I decided to search, how do you make a Unity game multiplayer? So after some research, I figured out that there's kind of two common networking applications that you can use for Unity. There's Photon and there's Mirror. The benefit to Photon is that it's a little bit more straightforward, but it locks you into peer-to-peer -peer contact. So you can't use any servers, you can't use dedicated servers, it's kind of peer-to-peer -peer hosting. When you're doing a shooter, you want everything to be in sync, you want instant feedback, you want everyone to be experiencing the same game. So I decided to go with Mirror, which has more server-side elements to it. Everything seemed to be going swimmingly. Mirror had some videos about it, it had a lot of documentation, what I found later is that the documentation is extremely difficult for someone who doesn't understand networking at all. So I ended up having to do a crash course in networking. Now luckily for me, Dapper Dino, a YouTuber, has an excellent tutorial on the basics of Mirror, which I followed to a T. So there, I spent about a week learning the basics of networking. And what I realized by the end of that is that I know nothing about networking. But I figured out how to get through the tutorial, I kind of understood a little bit of what was going on and moved on to the next phase, which would be implementing into my game. And so what I realized is the prior week when I was working on the game, I didn't think about networking at all. And there's some very specific things you need to implement in order to have a networking involved in your game. So I basically had to start from square one. So two weeks in, I'm actually starting my four week game jam. Not a very good thing. I took some time and tried to start implementing the mechanics and the things that I learned from the Dapper Dinos tutorials into my game first. And it seemed like it went well. After about four or five days, it seemed like I had everything good. Then it was time to implement my own features that I had created prior into the game. This was the hard part. So at this point, I basically had felt like my brain had turned completely into a potato. I feel like I didn't understand what I needed to accomplish, what I needed to have server side, what I needed to have client side. And so I just went for it. I added the bubble, I added the running, I added the features and it just was not running as smoothly as I thought. Then comes the fact that I couldn't get it off of LAN. So I was playing it two windows on my own computer. I have no idea how it's gonna test out. Here's the game. So basically it has barely any of the features that I wanted. I mean, you could run around, but is it even a game? I added some sounds to give it that finished feel, but it's only LAN because I didn't really have the time to finish it. So was this month a complete failure? I don't think so. I learned the basics of networking in Unity, which I can apply to different games later in the future. Uh, probably not a shooter. I might work with a card game or something simple like that. Uh, but it has made me angrier than I've ever been. So now I'm just relaxing. I'm getting ready for next month's game jam, which will be turn-based RPG. I really enjoy RPGs. I've played MMOs. I've played The Witcher. I've played Assassin's Creed. If you can call those RPGs or platformers, whatever they are, I like having games that have quests, they have missions, they have a great story. I like to watch the stories unfold. 
So I'm going to be pretty interested in how this turn-based RPG turns out. Because I've always found turn-based RPGs to be a little bit boring. Not to say I haven't been a fan of them. Ever since I was a kid, I've played Fire Emblem, Pokemon. But this month, I'm looking to see if I can take this genre and kind of light it on fire. In a good way. Maybe in a bad way, too. But I'm going to take this wholeheartedly. Hopefully you guys can participate in this turn-based RPG. 2D, 3D, online if you want it to be online. Go ahead and do it. I think it'd be great. There's still a $50 prize for this next month as well. So let's get gaming. This mirror stuff has been pretty difficult. It's gotten me probably angrier than I've ever been on my computer. Having so many bugs and not knowing how to fix it. It's like walking into Unity again. It's like walking into programming again. It's a new face on the same donkey, if you could say that. And I just need to do something really quick. But before that, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. More variety of videos as well. I probably will end up doing a mirror tutorial series sooner or later in order to cement my knowledge and hopefully give you some good new knowledge. Thank you guys for watching again, and excuse me for a minute.